What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. English League attackers, Cantona, York, Keane. Oh, man, this is this is a tough one for me because as a United fan, I do really want Cantona. But we're going to get into it. We're going to get into a couple of talking points, going to show you an ideal build, and then we're going to be live streaming a little bit. We'll spin a few, okay? We'll spin a few, and we'll try and review a couple of these in-game in Division 3 uh, and upwards, right? So we are going to start with Robbie Keane. Again, I will... Have a look at the eFootball DB and show you their their um, their kind of builds that I would go for just based on what they are good at here. All of these cards with their booster are going to be getting a shooting plus two, right? So they all have the same booster, which is a shooting plus two, an increase of plus two to ball control, kick and power, uh, finishing and physical contact. Now, there's one big issue with Robbie Keane, lads, but I do think that he is probably the second best player in the pack. Dwight York is a disappointing card, and I'll show you why in a second. But if you are going to be training up Robbie Keane, I do think that you do need to have a lot of kind of like thought put into where you want to play him. I would personally play him as like my second striker if you're playing a two-man up front kind of partnership. He doesn't have one-touch pass either. So while Yorkie has one-touch pass, he doesn't have super sub, he doesn't have one-touch pass. I do feel that, you know, fighting spirit, acrobatic finishing, first-time shot, long-range curler. I'll actually hide my webcam here, lads, because I am going to be going over to the build in a second. But I do feel that this card has a couple of really nice stats, especially as you go in. But that low pass is a bit of an issue, right? All of these cards are now balanced. They're balanced way more than they used to balance them before. The issue with Robbie Keane is his passing, as we see right here, right? So this is the build that we've gone for with Robbie Keane, which is just a very simple 8 into shooting, 10 into dribbling, dexterity and lower body. Very simple build. That is going to get you with the manager boost and the booster boost, right? You're going to have 90 attack and awareness. You're also going to have 90 finishing. You're going to have 85 speed. Uh, you're going to have 90 acceleration. You're going to have 90 kick and power. And of course, you're going to have 93 balance. So the balance is a key stat linked with the tight possession with Robbie Keane here. Very, very key stat with that, right? As with his, you know, low, low pass and stuff like that. He does need one touch pass if you are going to be playing him uh, kind of up front leading the line. Uh, that would be my opinion on him there, right? Now, in saying that with uh, Dwight York, Dwight York kind of like where Robbie Keane is weak, Dwight York has got one touch pass, right? He has got one touch pass, which is big. But look at his balance, man. It's killer. Absolutely killer. I don't get this. I don't really get this with this card. And to be honest with you... If Yorkie had got a good card, I would have been like way more enthused to actually spin because I was saying like, look, worst case scenario, if I don't get Eric Cantona, I will get Dwight York. Then, you know, I'll get Robbie Keane or else I'd get Robbie Keane and then worst, worst, worst case, I get Dwight York. But lads, this card is really disappointing, man, in my opinion, because like the way that the game is working at the moment and the way that the, on the online is working, it's all about that first time touch um on the ball not one touch pass it's all about kind of like you know being really really slick on the ball dribbling is a bit harder so you need to have that type possession up now while Dwight York can get the type possession up and he does have a couple of nice player skills right he does have that one touch pass but that balance that is a killer right now I know a lot of people will say different things about balance but for me 70 balance is not enough for a top tier legend it needs to be at least 80 and even at that I would recommend any of my ball carrying dribble centric run and gun guys to be at least 85 um so even though you're going to be getting a maxed out attack and awareness with this guy which is going to be insane you're also going to be getting his acceleration at about 94 93 his speed is going to be solid his kick and power is going to be solid his physical contact is going to be solid um for that stat the finishing is going to be into the 90 zone header is pretty decent he does have one touch pass you don't need to worry about the low pass I do feel that that balance is going to be a killer, man. I really do. Especially because they're so willy-nilly with how they kind of like to treat the tight possession and balance that. They do kind of switch it up every now and again. And I feel like I would definitely want to have that balance at at least 80. Um, even if that's, you know, 78 plus the two for the manager boost. I just feel that that is a disappointing one. Now, again, I still feel that you'd have to, you know, you can try him and see what you think. Um, but I do feel that that balance that is going to come back to haunt you. Now, can he score goals for you and be a beast for you if you get him? Yeah, of course he can, but any of the players can, man. It's like a, it's like a striker with 80 finishing. Can they score goals for you? Yes, but would you ideally like his finishing to be 90 instead of 80? Even though there isn't a massive difference, uh, I still feel it kind of like fu future proofs the card, because if they make a change to, you know, balance, that balance becomes even more important, 
this car becomes pretty much unusable. You just get thrown off the ball very, very easily, right? And if you're looking for a balanced card, right, you look at the new Neymar and how strong he is on the ball. He very ha- He's small physical contact, but his balance and tight possession are very nice. So that is kind of where I'd go with that. Uh, and then last but not least, we have Ooh Ah Cantona. We have Ooh Ah Cantona. So this guy's down as a deep line forward with his boosters the same. Kick and power ball control heading and or finishing and physical contact. Uh, as you see there, very nice player skills. I actually think that Cantona could be probably one of the most unique players in the game, right? So rising shot, long range shooting, uh, one touch pass, true passing, pinpoint crossing, outside curler, no look pass. What I would give with Cantona here, lads, would be probably depending on where we're going to play him, right? I would be, for, for a definite... I would be 100% giving him a first-time shot. That is a no-brainer for me, in my opinion. That is definitely a no-brainer um, from these ones here, right? I would be using him as a shooting striker if you want to top, but you could also use him as a CF. If you are using him as a CF, he 100% needs either long-range curler. I would probably give him that, long-range curler, and first-time shot, right? The rest of the player skills that you're going to be looking at you know, Dwight York obviously has one touch pass, but Robbie Keane needs one touch pass. The rest of the player skills depends very much so on your your play style. If you don't shoot a lot, there's no point putting shooting skills on. You might as well, you know, put fighting spirit on or you might as well put track back on if you would like to get back and defend. That's where a little bit of personality needs to come in with your card. But onto the build itself, this card is unbelievable, man. And I'm going to show you why, right? On first sight, you might think that a guy this tall, this strong, this physical is not going to be that quick. But where they made a mistake with Burkamp was not making him kind of usable. This card is definitely usable, man. This is the build that we've gone for, right? 11 into shooting, 4 into dribbling, 11 into dexterity, and then 8 into lower body with 6 into aerial strength, right? That's going to give us a godly card, right? Ball control is going to be 91. Dribbling is going to be 90 with the manager boost and his booster boost. Tie possession is going to be 93 with the manager boost. Low pass even, we've popped, you know, none into that, and that's going to be 80, 82 with the manager boost, which is beautiful for CF, and if we're able to, obviously, you know, with his card here, because he does have one touch passing, true passing, you don't need to worry about his passing stats uh, being that low, you know what I mean? And when I say low, 90 is usually the parameter for where you want your cards to be. Finishing at 90 is going to be really, really nice. Acceleration, that's the, that's the real key one here. And balance, they're going to be really nice stats, lads, for his physicality because his physical contact is going to get a big boost as well, um, you know, of the plus four. So, yes, this is definitely worth the hype, this card. I know a lot of people will spin. I definitely think that this Cantona card is going to be very hard to stop because, number one, his stats are brilliant for what he needs to do on the pitch. Obviously, he's not as rapid fast as some players like Mbappe or Neymar up front with the speed, but his acceleration is brilliant. His position will be brilliant. He's a very unique card that can win balls in the air as well, and he's super strong for a card that is just going to be playing that centre-forward role. But also, I guarantee you that he is going to be a monstrosity on the pitch because it's not all about stats, man. Sometimes they do boost special players and just, you know, give them special powers. Like the, the current free Neymar is just unstoppable. Um, so yeah, I definitely think that that's a, that's a great card. Um, but yeah, let me know guys, it's just a quick, quick, quick review of these cards and a training guide for them. Um, that is kind of where I would go with them. Let me know if you have spun or skipped these packs. We will be back with a live stream later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're on the road to 40k of course. We will be streaming later, so make sure you check that out with notifications on. Until next time, let me know if you spin or skip for these or if you're disappointed or if you're happy or whatever. I would say York is a bit of a, a skip, but Keane and Cantona, if I could pick, I would love Keane and I would love Cantona. So let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to you in a bit.